Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another springtime look, so stay tuned if you want to see how I achieved it. Alright, let's jump right into it. Today I'm doing something different and actually starting with my eyes first instead of my face. And I'm using the Perfect Filter Eyeshadow Palette by NYX Cosmetics. I'm going to take this light brown color and use that as a transition, say, transition shade, so I'm just going to apply that in the crease of both my eyes. Next, I'm going to take the purple color in the palette and apply that towards the outer corner of my eye and also pull it into my crease. Now you want to make sure that the colors you added are blended really well so I'm going back with the first brush that I used to apply that light brown color and I'm just blending out my crease some more. So I jumped into my Modern Renaissance palette because I wanted to add a little more of like a red tone to my eyes. So I'm just taking this color red ochre and concentrating that in the outer corner of my eyes. And once again, I am just blending my crease out so that all the colors transition really nicely. Next, I'm taking this color Buon Fresco. I think I'm saying that right. Um, it's like a very pale lavender shade, um, almost grayish, and I'm adding that to the lid of my eyes. And once again, we must blend, blend, blend our life away and make sure that your crease is nice and seamless. This next step is totally optional, but you guys know I live for my inner corner highlight, so I'm just popping Vermeer on the inner corners. And also I forgot to show it, but I added red ochre to the bottom of my eyes as well. So next I'm moving on to mascara. I'm gonna apply on both my top and my bottom lashes. And then for falsies, I'm using these beautiful false lashes by Salon Perfect. The band is so thin and it makes the lashes look really natural, almost like individuals. I love it. So now FYI guys, when working with a lash that has a very thin band like this one, you want to make sure you apply a little bit of glue because um, if you add too much, it'll get more on the lash than it does the actual lash band. It's so crazy. I never realized how many like moles and beauty marks I have on my face until I'm actually watching myself on video. Anyway, I'm moving on to foundation. This was my first time using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Um, this is a part of their matte and poreless line and I was actually pleasantly surprised. Um, it wasn't too, too matte where it had my face feeling dry. It had just enough moisture, didn't feel cakey. It's medium to full coverage, definitely buildable. I will certainly be using this foundation again. It blended really well and I just really like the overall feel of the foundation. Yes, honey, I am feeling this foundation. It really has my face looking flawless. Anyway, I'm taking the makeup off my mole and moving right on to concealer. This is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I am blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Taking my ABH Contour Palette, I'm applying the darkest shade in the hollows of my cheeks.
Now I do want to give myself a fun, flirty, flushed look on my cheeks, so I'm adding um, this blush by Too Faced. I forgot the name of the shade, but I'll apply it in the description bar below. And I'm just going to dust this over the apples of my cheeks and kind of drag it up where I contoured. I'm highlighting my face and I wanted to go for like a pinkish tone highlight and I was afraid that this one was gonna be a little too ashy or too white on me um, but it wasn't too too bad um, this is by makeup revolution and I'm just applying this um, on top of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose We are almost done y'all. I am looking to decide what lip color to choose and I finally pick up this liquid lip by NYX Cosmetics. It is a um, liquid lip matte finish. It's I forgot the color but it's like really bright orange and initially I thought it was too bright for this look so I added this nude color also by NYX Cosmetics. Um, it's like a pale nude just to kind of tone down the brightness of the lip. And that's it for this makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.